everybody, welcome back. I'm Megan Zimbo from MTD CNC, and we're here at PAC Expo in Chicago, Illinois. We just got done talking to Antoine, and he did a sweet demo for us with this Toma palletizer. Now we have Valerie with us, and she's gonna get in the nitty gritty of all of the technology. Hello, Valerie, how are you doing? Very fun in you, Megan. I'm doing great. Good. So thank you for having us again. I was super excited to meet you in person because we've been talking online this entire time. So not the same thing. Always best, yeah. always best. So there's a lot of advanced technologies coming yeah. into play with some of these applications and solutions. Can you tell us more about any of these types of technologies that you incorporated into the Toma? Sure, I'm sure that you feel it with Antoine earlier, <laughs> but the Basically, what the best thing that we use as an advanced technology that we use exactly the same system you have in your iPhone and your iPad. So for anybody, this is very simple to use. So we have the multi-touch and we have all the feeling and the simplicity that you are used to play with with your, uh, your iPhone. So it's maybe the main part of eye technology that we use. And on the ground there, on the ground, the, the HMI, so what you see, there's a lot of complexity, but we make it simple by having that that uh, eye technology uh, uh, VI in the front. I feel like this is something that my two boys could mess around with and be very successful at it. I think one of the teenagers I ran to at a previous show called all the technology that's coming out now, like the gamification exactly. of manufacturing. Exactly. So it's really... It you, you're right. So they that are. makes me nervous because I'm not really good at games, but <laughs> you know. same thing, same thing. But uh, it's uh, it's very uh, it's the next step. Huh? They will be our colleague tomorrow. Yeah. So it's very important that uh, we we reach their interests by having some very uh, nice technology like that. And I like yeah. the terminology that you made up for this specific product launch. Yeah. For industrial, for industrial. Super... yeah, we we like to do uh, uh, two words in one word. So yeah. for industrial, it's it's really how friendly it is, but it's also uh, an industrial robustness with mm -hmm. the robot and everything. You can see and you can feel it that it's very very strong. Very cool. Yeah. So how does Thomas Technology address the varying needs of industry today? Yeah, actually, uh, there's a, a lack of labor, so uh, we. Uh, we provide with the, all the autonomy of Thomas, uh, a simplicity to to to, uh, to replace somebody that is not there because he's, he's got hurt and he, he, there is nobody on the floor to do that job. Mm -hmm. So with Thomas, uh, we simplify the, the way to do the automation on the floor. Okay. You can also move Thomas, so you can take it with a lift and uh, plug and play in another place. And in a few minutes, as Martin mentioned, you can create your own receipt. Uh, the, the other thing that is very interesting and simplify the needs of uh, our customers is that you can integrate Toma very easily with the, the existing line. So oh, okay. we open some doors and making sure that it's easy to plug. Okay, I already have a, a, a conveyor line or I have, uh, all, have all other system. So there is plug and play uh, system that you just uh, use to make sure that there is communication between uh, different, the different uh, technology. Now, in terms of adaptability, is this something you can adapt to different products or different speeds? Yes, yeah, you can go uh, in collaborative mode. So uh, this, this is designed to stay in collaborative mode. So we can reach easily eight cycle by minutes. Uh, and uh, with the, the cycle by minute, it's mean that if you do double pick, it's you can reach higher number of box. It's all depend on uh, how many box you take. Mm -hmm. So cycle by minute, it's eight. And you can lift uh, the, the the size uh, the the box size that you want, and uh, up to 25 kilogram because it, this is the CRX30. Mm -hmm. And if you uh, remove the the weight of the gripper, it's around 25 kilogram that you can uh, use with that solution. So I feel like data is like the new gold now of manufacturing because yeah. everybody, if they can get a grasp on all of their data, they can can become more productive and more exactly. efficient. Does um, Premier Tech? offer any sort of data analytics or insights with the Tomo palletizer? And if so, what, what sort of information does it provide? Yes, exactly. Uh, it, the, the product uh, embed a product that we call Necton. So it's okay. a Prometech product. Necton is uh, giving us the capability to take the data and put that in the customer portal. So the, 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 our customer can have access on a, a web portal where they have like a lot of uh, data and they can have, take actions if uh, they, they see that, okay, uh, I, uh, 
two times a day, I miss uh, I miss a production. What's happened? Okay, I have those alert message. Uh, the bug was not there, so I may have a problem with my packer, so they can mm -hmm. take decision based on the data. So that, yes, yeah, that's awesome. And then safety is always a priority. And yep. when I was talking to Antoine, he did point out that this is not fenced in because it's considered a collaborative exactly. robot. But what are some of the steps that Toma is really doing to really guarantee that safety in the operations of the Toma palletizer? Yeah. Safety is very very, very important for Prometech and we have a team, a complete team uh, dedicated to that, uh, that subject. So what we did, we did a, a risk analysis based on the standard setup of Toma. Okay. And we push a little bit more. We, we've been innovative in the way that we, uh, we manage a software to, to reduce the risk in the non-collaborative zone. Even if we say that normally nobody needs to be in the non-collaborative zone, we, uh, we add some software feature that making sure that the risk is reduced. So we play with the, bit, the speed, we play with the, uh, I, I will give you an example. Uh, if the, the robot is waiting for a box, yep. uh, a lot of accidents come because the, the, the robot is not moving and people think that the robot is not in action. Oh, okay. So they come in the cell, but they are, they are not uh, supposed to do that. Yeah. So to be sure that the, the, everybody understand that the, the cobot is waiting for a box, we do a, a little movement. So he's always moving. Oh, okay. So, you, so they mean, can tell that it's can, Exactly. So it's simple, but yeah. we add that in the software, making sure that it's reduce, reducing the risk of, uh, of uh, yeah. incident. Yeah. That would be a great feature for me because I tend not to pay attention to yeah. some of that stuff. and if, the slightest movement would definitely catch exactly. my attention. So that would be I, a uh, great... And uh, another thing that we add, when they start, when they start a pallet, when they start the first box, uh, in the, when you, you do the operation, the first box is, is under 40, uh, 400 millimeter by second. So it's okay. slower than the old, old program. And after that, it start moving a little bit faster. So it's give the time to people if, as again, they are not in the right zone to move and, and understand that the robot is uh, is in action. That's really cool. Yeah. So lastly, as technology manufacturing continues to evolve, how is Toma positioned for future advancements? Like, what can we expect from this type of technology? Are there other markets you're hoping to get into? Are there other applications you're hoping to apply this to yeah. outside of palletizing? Sure. We have a roadmap already, uh, already booked for next year, so we will come up with new product, always with the same spirit of product development. So it's mean that we'll have a, an easy to use interface, uh, and and the spirit of the development is to 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 make it the, to make it simple uh, in the packaging industry. So Prometech is very good in the packaging industry, mm -hmm. so we stay in those kind of applications also. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, Valerie, I want to say thank you for taking the You're time welcome. to get really deep into the technology. I know that's important for anybody. So <laughs> stay tuned. We got one more interview from uh, Premier Tech. Take care, everybody. Bye. Thank you.